Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, and today we're gonna be playing a new game. As you can see here, it is called a normal lost phone. And I know, um, you ca can probably see that this um is gonna be a pretty long video. And I decided to do this in long segments, I guess, as episodes is like an hour long because I don't quite know how long this is. Um, I think it's like maybe a few hours it's not super long so it's only going to be like a few episodes um i'm sorry about it being so long but i figured why not and to try it um i don't really know too much about this game so I, I i don't know what to expect so let's just get right into it oh okay all right hold on i'm gonna turn the music down because it's very loud we have four messages from dad. Okay. Oh. Can I... Can I go to the settings? Okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna play that. Because I also... Don't know if it's... It's copyrighted music. <laughs> Um, so where's messages? Messages. Okay, we have from dad. Um, oh. Okay. Can I not scroll it? Oh, I have to scroll with the thing. Okay. Wait, let's see. How far does this go? Oh, okay. We're gonna, let's, let's read this all. Alright. This is from, this is our text to dad. I have a new phone. Now you have my new number, Sam. Why are you text me from your bedroom, dad? I just sent my new number to to all my contacts. It wasn't just for you. Why are you replying to me from your bedroom, Dad? Oh, sorry if you could hear those cars. Okay, anyway. Are you kidding me? Me? Never. <laughs> Dad. Okay. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I <laughs> keep saying that. Mom wants to know if Melissa will dine with us tonight. Dad. Oh. He must be a friend or something. No, we've not been getting along recently. Be strong, son. Women are complicated sometimes. Your mother's still a complete mystery to me, Dad. Oh, <laughs> Men can be complicated sometimes, too. You're a brave boy, and Melissa's a good girl. She'll come back soon. Trust me, Dad. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't see how long ago was it. Oh, I didn't say. Oh, wait, I did. I'm dumb. Oh, well, this is an old game, by the way. I think this came out in, like, 2016 or something. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this is January. What? Oh, wait, never mind. I'm dumb. This is December. It's opposite. I guess this is in, um, a different country. Sorry. I live in America, so it's, like, the switched whatever. Anyway, so that's December 1st, and this is towards the end of December. It's January still January. I can't co connect to my emails anymore. You'll have to help me when you're back, Dad. Oh, you must have went somewhere. Mom would like to know if Melissa could send her the chocolate cake recipe she made for my birthday. Dad. Okay. It's still January. Is this the... Oh, no. It's okay. Mom told me to remind you about your dentist appointment today, Dad. Did you get my message about the dentist? Dad. Why aren't you answering? Dad. <laughs> I saw that. I was in class. Sorry. This is still January. Your mom's made an appointment at the hairdresser for you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Dad. Okay, wait. Before I do this, sorry, I just got reminded. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit more now because the music was just really loud. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. What, but I already told you a million times that I don't want to get my hair cut. Make an effort, it'll make your mom happy. Dad. Okay, we're getting towards the, towards the end of January. I'm picking up groceries for tomorrow's party. I wonder how many people will be there. Is Melissa planning on coming? She's not coming. Is this like... Huh... They always ask about Melissa, and he always says, like, that she's not... I don't know. All right. How come? She seems to be perfect 
a per the perfect girl for a guy like you. Mom and I thought she was very nice, polite, well-behaved, and pretty. Just what every man's looking for in a wife. I really don't want to talk about it. You never seem to pay attention to girls in general. We thought you were really into Melissa. We thought you were good together. What happened? Stop. Okay, here's the last thing of January. Happy birthday, son. Oh, it's his birthday. Okay. I'm so proud of the man you've become. We'll celebrate properly tonight and be prepared for a big party for your 18th, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Where are you? Everyone's looking for you, smiley face. <laughs> Dad. Samuel, where are you? Where did you go? We're all really worried. Tell us everything is fine. Your mom wants to call the police on his birthday. Is this his fault? Am I going to call him? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm scared. All right, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to. Oh. Oh, insuff insufficient credit. Okay. Is this back home? Oh. Okay. Oh, and this is messages. All right, should we, should we go through them all or... Oh my gosh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh, so I'm guessing the further ones have, I don't know, there's not as much. Oh, this is from December. I guess it's later. Okay, well, let's, I have a new phone. Now you have my new number. Oh, okay. So, um, basically all these messages are just from him texting people his new number. Cool, we need to get together for food sometime. Who's this? Cawthrin. Oh, saxophone. Okay, just play the saxophone. All right, I thought this was because, like, in the in our dad's messages, I thought this was here because it was like saying that he was calling us. But I, I this is just how it is for all the um the messages. I think. Camilla board games. Okay, I have a new phone number. You have my number. Good, good. See you on Sunday. Huh. I wonder who that is. See you on Sunday. Okay. Um, Nico. I have a new phone. Thanks for letting me know. And a board games. Oh, this one's board games too. Okay. Oh, here we have some. Blah, blah, blah. A little bit later, I heard your friend Alice likes Thomas. Did you? Did she tell you anything? Is she a nice girl? What? She's great. But she would have told me. Who told you that? Oops. Forget it. Maybe I'm wrong. No way. Who told you that? Okay. I feel like he doesn't know most of these people. I don't know. Unless these are just random people. He's in a band, apparently, and they have a board games thing, probably with, like, a couple friends or something, because this guy's name is Max Cello. Oh, we have some conversation. Oh, my God. Mr. Kaplan is friends with Peter Norgard. What? Our music theory teacher with Norgard, the orchestra, orchestra director. No, Norgard, the TV chef. Of course, chief. Chef? Chief? Okay, anyway. Of course, it's the director. And not only that, I heard he showed up at our last concert. Do you think he would have wasted his time like that? How ah, funny. It's you saying that. You were the best of all of us. Oh. Oh, shucks. I wonder what he plays. Um, I can already see him totally impressed by Sam the Virtuoso. And then calling your parents and taking you with him to his orchestra. Hey, I'll be 18 soon. I don't need my parents' permission to sign contracts and stuff. Winky face. I'm sorry I did that. I, I don't know. I, I didn't know you were one year older than me. I didn't know you were one year younger than me. XD. That's great. Okay. I had a nice conversation. Um, oh, this is someone else from the board games. Uh, it doesn't seem like a good message. Blah blah blah. Hey, could you bring back that game from last week? Can't remember the game. The one with the mice. Okay. Your mom's cakes are so good. She's so nice to bake them for us every time. Oh, thanks. I'll tell her. You are truly a monster. I'm so disgusted that I've discovered your true face today. Don't ever set b foot back in this club or I'll have to tell your little secret to everyone. Okay, this was December. Wait, I wonder if, like, we can... Should I get, like, my notebook out? Because I'm not going to keep scrolling back and forth. I was going to go check the dad's messages and see if, like, this time he was answering, like, very sadly, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but, like, 
you can tell when someone's not feeling good, I guess, through text, kind of. So I wonder if this day he, like, wasn't feeling good. Maybe I should get... It was the 13th of December. I mean, we can check. I just want to see, like, if stuff started happening here. Okay, so we're still here. We're still here. Still the first. 12. Oh, never mind. 12. Oh, it's already past that. Oh, this was happening. This was happening before. No, wait, this is the first, but this is past that. Okay, so this is when it was... When it was happening. Okay. Alright. Well, I didn't like her. That was very mean. I don't know what was going on, but... I don't know what he did. Okay, where were we? Wow, there's a lot of people. Okay, here. Lola. Lola, you're mean. Lulu Book Club. Oh, there's a book club. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Anyway. Hey, Sam. I asked Harry for your number. I was thinking my parents are a bit anxious about next Saturday. They don't like me going there with people they don't know. Do you think I could tell them to contact your parents so they'll calm down? Like, don't worry. Your daughter is safe. And... Your daughter is in the safe hands when this, with Sam around. <laughs> I know, they are freaking out over nothing. When was this? This was also after that person got told that. Okay. Sorry, I don't think so. They don't know where I'm going this weekend. I told my mother I was going to a book festival. <laughs> Shit. So you just lied to your mom? Your situation is even worse than I thought. Oh well, hope to see you on Saturday. I hope to... Oh. Uh, they don't like me. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just like inspecting. I'm seeing here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Because we just got a random phone. So. Um. Helen School. Okay. Oh, we have some conversation here. This was also after. No, wait. Wait, was I dumb then? Yeah, no. This was the 12th of. How come this was sent... Oh, they must have all been sent separately then. This was on the 13th of December, and that message... This message was sent on the... It says 20th of December. Um, I don't know. Well, it's still after all that happened. Whatever she... So that... So what's her face? Lola still has a secret. Um, Helen, reply soon as you see this message. Thanks. I see I'm here not doing much are you okay yes why i've just been texting with sebastian and he told me about the party last friday i wanted to know if you were okay oh don't even mention his name okay i don't know what he's told you and i don't give a shit well i just wanted to make sure he didn't hurt you or do anything stupid he seems to be really furious he is furious him he can die <laughs> and you can f off i didn't expect this from you sam Helen, I'm on your side. I'm trying to be supportive. I'm worried about you. That's why I'm messaging you. Sorry, Sam. The bastard made me feel like shit. Oh, damn, we got some ranting. He was like a gentleman at the beginning of the night. That he, But he became unbearable as soon as he got drunk, making comments and touching me everywhere and holding me tight while dancing. Oh, I was feeling uncomfortable, but I didn't want to say anything. It was supposed to be a great night. I'm sorry to hear he made you feel like that. Then I had... Enough, so I lied and said I had to go to the bathroom, but I wanted to leave. He said he was going to the toilet, too, and he came with me, but he came into the ladies' toilet and then grabbed my arm and started kissing me and pushing me to one of the walls. Ooh. That must have been a horrible moment. I'm sorry. Thanks, Sam. Fortunately, we heard someone come in the restroom, and that made him stop. He was drunk, so I was able to push him to one side and escape. I picked up my stuff and left. I don't know if he was caught or what happened behind me. I was scared and just wanted to get away. Were you okay after that? Did you make it home safely? I was a bit drunk, just buzzed. But I came home okay. I felt terrible. I probably triggered that situation. It was my fault after all. What? No, no, wait. What makes you say that? I came home early and my dad was awake. I was very embarrassed, but he asked what's the matter. So I said... A guy had been molesting me the whole night and tried to touch me and grope my ass in the corner. And he said, well, I told you that dress was too much, and now you're upset. You should have been more careful. What? Your dad? 
Okay. Okay. You know what? I mean, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Listen, Helen, you are not responsible for what happened and shouldn't feel ashamed, okay? Did anyone else ask for help? Melissa? Oh, we're talking about her again. Did you ask anyone else for help? Sorry. No? Please don't tell her anything. I don't want to talk about this with anyone. Please. It's too much. She'll comfort you, I'm sure. Don't be afraid. I think she'll understand and be able to help you even better than I can. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate you listening. Most guys would laugh at me if they knew what happened. I already feel a tiny little bit less awful after talking to you. I gotta go now. Thanks again. You can count on me, but you should really talk to Melissa, too. I'm sure she'll help. Goodbye. Helen. Hmm. Oh, we also have no Wi-Fi. Oh. Wait, we do? Mer Mel run open. Wi-Fi secured. Oh, you need a password. Not in range, not in range. Okay, what's this at? I don't know. And then this is our ships. Okay. Hmm, so Helen. That was not a very good night for Helen. Harry. Okay, this is the one that um Lulu got his number from. Okay. Hi, so are you joining us this weekend? Have you got your parents' permission? Yes, I've got permission from my mom for a book festival. I'll call you to chat about details. A book festival? That's a good one. The most important thing is that you can come, indeed. It was an awesome weekend. Thanks a bunch for pushing me to come. Glad you could join us. Well, now I'm kind of, like, confused. <sighs> Sorry. I'm going to keep yawning because, um, because talking a lot is probably going to get me out of breath, which causes you to yawn, so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I wonder if this is actually a book club, because, I don't know, why would you, wouldn't you just say you're in a book club and say you're meeting for the book club, or, unless it's not a book, I don't know. Oh, Sebastian, <gasps> I'm not going to like reading this. This is going to be pretty weird. Blah, 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 are you coming to the Christmas party? Tomorrow, I'm going with Helen. Okay, this is still after um, the fact that that happened. Hey, Sebastian, sorry for the late reply. I totally forgot. Guess you could tell I didn't go. I spent the day at a book festival instead. Hope you had a great time. Yeah, it was okay. Just okay. Sort of. Helen didn't feel well at some point. Oh, lame. I know you guys were looking forward to going together. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, but things went wrong and she wasn't feeling well. Yep, you said that already. But she was feeling sick, food poisoning. That, <laughs> that bitch left in the middle of the party. What? Sorry, that's not a very nice way to talk about your girlfriend. Yeah, you call her. Can you effing believe it? She's not my girlfriend. We're just dating on and off, she said. Well, calm down. Do you want to tell me about what happened or just shut up? She's a, oh, okay, that's what happens. She's been dropping hints for weeks, making comments, getting me horny. Okay, this guy's definitely weird. Okay, she was saying how special the night was going to be and how much fun we were going to have. And that doesn't mean anything. Well, what would you expect after midnight? You were dancing at the party and she was constantly rubbing her leg against me with a dress. Against me, she was dressed for sex and... Almost dry humping. Okay, it's hard to imagine Helen in that situation. And then she said she needed to go to the bathroom. What do you mean it's hard to imagine? That heart was effing drunk and she had wanted it for weeks. I really don't like this kid. Okay, anyway. I went with her and she got all nervous and told me to go and then left. I... And then she left. I effing had condoms, man. It was going to be fun, and we were both into it. Well, obviously she wasn't. What the hell do you mean? You weren't so shut up. Ab you weren't there, so shut up. You know when they want it. I bet you see it in Melissa's eyes, too. They're such good friends. Okay. Hey, calm down. Don't involve Melissa in this. You're the one who has a problem, and I think you screwed it up last night with Helen. Yeah, I screwed it up, and that's the only thing I screwed because that's... Slut didn't want to finish what she started. You and your stupid girlfriend can F off too, I bet. You didn't even screw her, you... Oh. That's not nice. 
Melissa and Helen spent the whole day whispering behind my back, but wouldn't talk to me. I'm sure you know what they're up to, Mr. Meddler. Okay, so this is the 22nd, then when was this? 12th, okay, that was a big gap. Well, Sebastian seems ugly anyway. Warren, he has a normal name, finally, there's no, like, thing at the, by the way, where was she from? Lola was from board games, okay. Warren, oh, this is short, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, Sam, happy new year, I hope everything goes great with you. Say hi to your parents for me, thank you very much, Warren, likewise. Okay. I'm gonna, I feel bad, I'm gonna probably butcher this. Is it Huli or Howley? Huli, I'm just gonna say Huli. Okay. Wish you a great 2016 and lots of fun tonight. Thanks. Hope you had a great night. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. So maybe he got the phone for like Christmas. That makes sense. No, no, he was texting before Christmas. Was he? Yeah, the 20, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was like early Christmas. Okay, what is this? Mrs. Du Bois. Uh-oh, it's a teacher. Dear Sam, your grandma showed us the photo from your last concert. We really liked it. Hello, it was just taken by a good photographer, but thank you. No, you've grown up a lot and look wonderful. Vlad is very proud of you. He gets nostalgic when he sees someone with a harp. So he plays the harp. Oh, that's beautiful. That's very fitting. I don't know. It just sounds nice. Like he is. He's very nice. <laughs> I didn't know he played the harp too. Oh, no, he didn't. He played many instruments, but not the harp. But it was probably... But it... Probably is his favorite. That's why he never touched one and always held harpist. Sorry, in such a high regard. <sighs> I, I just keep yawning. Okay. Still, the sound brings him sweet memories. Your dad told us you're very talented. So now we're going to have to. Now you're going to have to play for Vlad next time. I'll practice hard to impress him. Looking forward to it. Dear Sam. Vlad and I wish you a very happy new year, surrounded by the people you love. Hope to see you next June. Next June. Who is this a teacher of, then? Oh, well, they probably have, like, a different school schedule, because I was going to say June. Isn't that the summer? But it's fine. Okay. This is someone else from board games. Oh. We have some pictures. That's great. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Welcome back to the 21st century. <laughs> oh, this was the day. Wait. OMG, good thing you left early. Big drama went down afterwards. Shit, Lola told you everything? Lola? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Anna who lost her shit. What's the deal with Lola? Nothing. Something personal about her. I really shouldn't talk about it. What happened with Anna? Or Anne? So last week she came to me and told me Thomas had a crush on me. Oh, didn't we talk about this with Lola or whatever? I think so. He's not really my type, so today I went to say to him nothing could happen between us. Oh, that's quite upfront of you. Did he take it well? He didn't take the news badly at all, because guess what? He had no idea what I was talking about. He actually confessed that he's been seeing Anne for the past three weeks? What? Why did Anna tell you he had a crush on you then? Yeah. I talked to her right after. It seemed she was convinced I wanted to steal her boyfriend and he was interested. And it was her way of testing his loyalty. What a twat. I hate lying and conniving people. Of course, I hate lies too, but seriously, who does something like this? She's completely out of her mind. Then again, my girlfriend Melissa is all, almost as jealous, so maybe she'd do something then. Is it really your girlfriend... You have a girlfriend I didn't know. Uh, um, yeah, sorry. I never told you about her. That's cool. I'm just a bit surprised. I don't know why I always thought you'd be more into guys. That makes more sense. Oh my gosh, what if the secret is him being gay? Maybe we just cracked the whole thing. Maybe Melissa is just a... I think I like both. Oh, I don't know yet. And uh, keep this to yourself. Yeah, I promise. Okay, that was the day that What's Her Face kept that secret. Hmm. Okay. Why weren't you here today? I couldn't. I'm sorry. Will you be coming back in January? I don't know. I've been annoyed with Lola about something. Don't care about Lola. I like it when you're there. Come play with me. 
Ah, uh, thanks, but I don't think I'll come to play again. We'll keep hanging out together elsewhere, won't we? Who's going to teach me the game rules now? Your instructions were always the best. But okay, I understand. And yes, we'll keep in touch, promise. Here, as an apology, a pick from the latest Tonio show. I know you're a fan. Oh, is this what he looks? Oh, no, no, this is Tonio, I guess. I thought this was what he looks like. Okay. What? You've been to a Tonio show? Now I'm jealous. Merry Christmas, Alice. Happy New Year, Alice. Hey, how come you're not replying? Alice, why are you not texting back? Something happened with Alice. Oh, these are within... This is Christmas, this is New Year's, and then this is the next day and the next day. Hmm. Okay. Is that Imad? I'm, I think it's Imad. I'm not sure. School. So this is someone from school. Happy belated New Year. Do you know if we're going to the museum next week? I lost my schedule. We're going in two weeks. Really looking forward to it. Cool. Me too, man. Last time was awesome. I found... The talk about college is quite useful. I'm seriously considering biology as an option. That would suit you perfectly. I know. I've always I always liked biology. I get good grades without much effort. Would you stay in Melvin? Would you stay in Melvin? I've heard that before and read the text. I already I'm forgetting. <laughs> this must be the place they are. They living. I don't know. But at least one semester abroad would be awesome. The world should get to know you. That could be dangerous for the world. <laughs> That's funny. He's funny. I don't know where Melrin came from, but I've heard it. Melissa. Oh, these are a lot of messages. Look how many they have. Oh, man, this is going to take... This is like the dad. Oh, my gosh. Look at look how tiny this is. All right, we're going to be here for a bit. We're going to be here for a bit, but it's fine. We're getting to know people. This is the episode we, we get to know people. There's a picture. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <sighs> okay. Sorry. I yawn again. All right. Oh, finally. Meet me right in front of the cinema this evening. Are they like... Hmm. Does she think they're really dating and does he not like her? Or do, are they both in on it? Like, does she know that... And they're like both faking dating. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I just found this in my bag. Did it come from you by any chance? That is so cute. So good. Yes, I slipped it into your bag at the theater yesterday when you went to the bathroom. Why? Did I miss an important date yesterday? Like, our first kiss or something? Not at all. I just wanted to make you happy. Aw. Oh, he looked said, Aw, you didn't have to. How sweet of you. Did you draw it? Yeah, I. but I based it on a picture we took during the holidays. Oh, yeah, I see that. Speaking of, I lost that picture when I switched phones. Send it to me. I took it with my camera, so I've got it in... PC, I'll send it to you by email. Yes, we have to look at the emails, too. Thanks. The truth is that I like your drawing more than the picture. You draw so well. Are you sure you don't want to try art school next year? That's nice of you, but I swear, other than portraits, I can't do much, and I really want to go to a vet school. When are the results of the entrance exams? December 23rd. Okay. But that's just the first step towards admission. There are other written oral tests afterwards. I'm stressing so hard right now. Right, before you go on vacation, at least you'll be able to take your mind off of it if you don't get in. I see you believe in me. Sorry, I'm sure you'll make it. I believe in you. I love you. Oh, me too. Okay, when did I say it was the 23rd? Okay. So this is the 6th. Rachel tried to call me five times this morning. I didn't have the nerve to answer her today. Do you know what she wants? Huh, Rachel. I don't know, She's, but she sent me a message to asking how she could get a hold of you. I'll let her know today's not a good day. Thanks, I'll get back to making up, to making up boxes. Let me know what she wants. I'll get back to making up boxes. What is that? Just the password for the Melrin Wi-Fi. Well, oh wait, please tell me we're going to get that. How was the move? Not too exhausted? So much. I don't know. Oh, she was probably just... Okay. I don't know how much my grandmother collected so many things. She's old. She had time to collect a lot of things. Don't make fun of my grandma. How was your day? Not bad. Okay. What did you do? I went out and played board games with who? Oh, wait. Was this... Oh, no. This was the day before... 
Thomas and Martin. Wasn't Alice there? Yes. So why do you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. Why didn't you tell me from the start that Alice was there? Are you hiding something from me? Exactly. You get jealous every time I mention Alice. I told you a thousand times Alice is just a friend, but she's my best friend. I don't want to stop seeing her. You really need to stop trying to talk me out of it. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just need reassurance sometimes, you know. I've never known men slash women friendships before you and that Alice. You're my only one. Aw. Now I'm sure I'd be less jealous if you introduced her to me one day. I'm sure it'll happen soon enough. Yeah, but why not right now? Because it's already 10 p.m. You're right. I'm off the bed. Sleep well, my gummy bear. Oh, that's cute. Good night, Melissa, cutie. Okay, so this is the eighth. Only ten days. Even more excited than I am. You know, it's just a movie. You mean the most awaited movie in the history of the galaxy. Can you imagine if it's lame? No, it's going to be great. Okay, this is after. This is because it was the 13th, now it's the 14th. Hey, I've just thought your cousin, Tio, is going to be... Okay, um, for some reason my headphones just shut off. Okay, don't mind, <laughs> don't mind that. Um, I thought your cousin, I thought of your cousin Tio is going to be at your dad's birthday party. No, why? Yeah, he makes me uncomfortable. I feel like he's trying to undress me with his eyes every time he looks at me. It's true, he is a bit strange like that, but don't worry, he's not going to be there. Tomorrow's the big day. Shall we meet in front of the theater? Yes, I'm coming in cosplay. Aw, you, you embarrass me. I was just going to say aw. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> okay, oh, this is the day. <gasps> uh, I'm sorry. You could probably have a counter of how many times I've been on this episode. Oh my gosh, okay. I forgot my math textbook in my locker. Are you still at school? Could you get it for me and bring it tonight? Sure, I'll get it. Did you change your locker's password? You put Alice's birthday, didn't you? What? No, not at all. It's still your birthday. It's just the first month, then, it's just first the month, then the day. I got it. Thanks, see you tonight. Thanks for coming to my dad's birthday tonight. Your cake was so good. Well, you're welcome. My pleasure. Your, date, your dad ate three servings. Can you send me a photo of my dad blowing out the candles? The one I took on my cell was awful, so I deleted it. I hope your candle works better than my phone. It's to send to my grandma. I'll transfer the photos from my SD card tomorrow and send you what I've got. It's a shame she couldn't make it. Yeah, I'm sad she can't get out anymore. I just thought of it. Do you think she'll want the photos of you at your concert, too? Oh, yeah, you reminded me. She's been asking for them for at least six months. I'm such a terrible grandson. I'll send them to you tomorrow, thanks. Okay. Well, they text a lot. Well, we're almost there. Psst, I saw... Pfft, I mean, sorry. Pfft. I saw Helen today. She told me what happened with Sebastian. I figured I can tell you about it because she said you'd already talked it over. This whole thing sucks. Why didn't you tell me yesterday? Yeah, it's seriously not cool. I didn't want to tell you before Helen did to respect her privacy. But believe me, I wanted to tell you badly. It made me so mad. Okay, I get it. It's actually kind of cool that you don't share other people's secrets. She also told me that it was you who convinced her to come talk to me. Well done. I really think I found the right words to help her. I didn't doubt for a single second that you couldn't, that you would provide excellent support. Which gets me thinking. To convince her, did you tell her about you know what? No, I don't share other people's secrets like you should. Thanks. No problem. Wait. About you know what? Hmm. I wonder what that is. Okay. I got my results. I can't bring myself to open them. Oh, come on. Waiting won't change the results inside the envelope. You're right. Well, I'm opening. Well, negative. Oh, no. You want to come? You want me to come see you? I just want to curl up into a ball and cry by myself right now. I don't want to leave you alone at a time like this. I'm taking a shower and coming. No, seriously, don't come. Truth is, I don't have th the time to curl up in a ball. Between stress over the results and the talk with Helen, I haven't had time to pack for tomorrow, and I really need to take care of it. Okay, but if you need me, need to talk, call me. I'll call you before going to bed. See you. I'm at the airport thinking of you. We'll s see each other for New Year's Eve. Enjoy your holidays. Okay, so she went for, like, Christmas and stuff. 
Happy Christmas to my big gummy bear. <laughs> Happy Christmas to the most beautiful girl. Okay, I can't wait for tomorrow. I miss you. This holiday week felt like months without seeing you. I bet you even saw that Alice. <laughs> no, I didn't see her. I couldn't think of anything but you this whole week. Can't wait for tomorrow. I have a big surprise tonight. Something to really celebrate the new year. You don't want to know what it is? Sending you a cute fo- uh. Oh, wait, is this the- d Oh, wait, is this his- Oh, no, no, okay. His birthday is January 31st, not this one, okay. You don't want to know what it is? Sending you a cute photo. Oh, my god. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm not coming. Oh. I know you were looking forward to tonight, but it's time to admit things. We're at very different points in our lives. We don't want the same things anymore. We're not the teens we were before. I've realized how horrible it is to tell you this way, but I'm too much of a coward to say things face to face. I hope you still enjoy your evening and find joy in 2016. He did not just end it when she sent that. That's so sad. Wait, are you kidding me? Are you dumping me? What the hell? Everything was fine until now. Did something happen during the holiday? You can't leave me. We love each other. Nothing happened during the holiday. I just don't feel the same way as I did before. Something happened in between this. Wait, you can't just break everything between us on an impulse. Come to my place and we'll talk about it. No, I made up my mind and I want to spend the evening alone. Sorry. F you. Okay, wait, when was this? Okay, so this was the seventh, so there was like um, like a week, about a week in there. I know it seems really stupid to tell you everything right now, but I'm really sorry for everything that happened. You're awesome and you deserve better than an asshole like me. I'm really sorry I made you suffer that much. Tell me what I can do to help you get better. Just ask. You know I'd move mountains for you. What I want is you. You are and you've always been the only person I wanted in my life. Anything but that. If I can do anything else to apologize or help you get better, just say it. I don't want to ever hear from you again. Please don't write to me. Don't come to me at school. Stay away. You're toxic, Sam. You're the worst thing that happened to me. I don't know. Oh, that's really rough. Okay. Um, it's a bit harsh. Rachel. Okay, they mentioned Rachel, too. I just can't remember anything. Okay. Sammy, I can't contact Melissa. It's urgent. Oh, this was the one. Okay. This was about, like, the Wi-Fi. Okay. She's at her grandma's, but she'll probably... She, but probably busy. She's moving out after her grandfather died. Ah, thanks. You happen to have the memories private. I tried to log in switching phones, so it may have changed, but last I heard that was Melrin's zip code. Dang it. I'm the, you, I thought you were going to give it right to me. Maybe I should write this down. I feel like I should be writing this um down because I'm going to forget. So um, just give me one second. I have my notebook. I just need to get um, a pen because I am I am definitely going to forget all of this. And then later uh, I'm going to regret it. And then you guys watching are going to be like, are you dumb? It's right here. The answer is right here. So I'm going to write that the Melrin's password sorry, is the zip code. <laughs> Just so I could remember, because I don't know if that's going to come up again. Like, when I look through, like, other things, and, like, I, I don't know, I just want to make sure I remember. Um, anyway, all right. Hey, can you get me the notes from last week's math class? Sure, no problem. Now that I'm thinking about it, Rachel, is it just me, or do you only talk to me when you need something? After rereading my latest messages, I admit I was pushing it. I'm really sorry. Thanks for not telling me to get lost and for always being there when I need you. You're an awesome friend, and I'm really so I'm real sorry. Oh, well, but be more tactful next time. Promise. Okay. Okay, this guy's from board games as well. Oh, wait, is that his Uncle Tio? Is that what he said? The Uncle Tio, I think? Your dad's birthday? Oh, it's near here. I know it is. It is. Oh, your cousin. Oh, he's not his uncle. He's cousin. I'm oh, sorry. I automatically assumed weird uncle. My bad. <laughs> okay. This is Hugo. I don't think I've heard of him. Oh, there's a bit of text in here. Okay. School saved. Oh, boy. Are you coming on Sunday? 
Alice said you might not come. Why not? You have to come. No, seriously, you have to come. Hey, are you there? Don't ignore me. Hi, Hugo. Sorry, I was busy. Yeah, like Alice said, I'm probably not coming, but why not? You can't miss it. Miss what? Did Alice not tell you? Tell me what? She's great. I actually asked her not to tell you anything, but then she m said she, you might not come, and I thought she would have told you, but I see she hasn't. Oh, OMG, tell me what? Now you have to come if you want to know. I'll ask Alice, but really, I'm pretty sure I won't come. Sorry. We need you. I wanted to bring the game I've been designing with my brother. Well, it's still a prototype, but it's ready, and we want to test it, and I'm counting on you. This guy sends such separate messages. <laughs> we need as many people as possible, and you love to try new games. <sighs> Sorry, again. Um, Alice said she's in. Come on. I don't know, Hugo. I'm sorry, but I think I can't come. Maybe next time. Dude, he just keeps on budging. Oh, this is January. Oh, the game is perfect. There won't be a next time. Next time, you'll have to buy it and play. Uh, if it's that good, I will buy it for sure. Yeah, you can bring me your copy and I'll sign it for you. Good luck on Sunday. I hope they like it. They'll love it. Sam is such a positive person. Like, even if it's going negative... He'll, he'll, like, make it pop. I don't know. He's such a good guy. This guy looks creepy, though. Um, anyway, this is his weird cousin. All right. Oh, we have a bit of text here. Our mom said we'll go on Saturday to visit you guys. Can we bring the race there? She said she'll buy us some pizza, uh, pizzas. Which race? Are you effing kidding me? The world championship. Oh, watch the race. Okay. I'm not a big fan of that kind of thing. Don't you watch the news? You spend too much time playing the harp and hanging around with girls. Dude, come feel the engine's power and smell the gas. You stare at the motorcycles. I'll eat the pizza. You can't while you are busy playing harp. See you then. Hey, I wanted to ask you about your brother. Eric? I hardly remember anything. He left when I was a kid and my parents never talked about him. They felt betrayed. I hardly remember him either, but he was always nice to me. Why betrayed? They were really great parents, and he still ran away like a selfless jerk. I asked once, and my mother said he was sort of brainwashed and joined a cult of some kind. Oh! Yes, that's it. The bastard abandoned the, the family, and we don't exist for him anymore. This morning, I found an invite to his wedding in the mailbox. I was shocked. That's why I wanted to ask you. What the hell are you talking about? Have you not seen it? No. And I don't want to see it. I don't give a shit. Don't you think that's strange? He's inviting us to his wedding. It's not like he doesn't care about us. He left. That's all I care. Sorry, Tio. I don't want to make you upset, but please check the card for me. Something doesn't fit. I don't even know if we got one. Maybe he'll only send it to you. I'll have to check. Hey, I found it yesterday in the waste paper basket in my dad's studio, ready to go to the shredder. Did you get it? No, I left it there, of course. Dad was coming home. I'm dead if he catches me looking around in there. But did you at least read it? He, it doesn't exactly look like some cult ritual. I understand what you mean. No, it doesn't. Can we talk about it during the weekend when you're here? It's late and I want to sleep. Sure, see you then. We're in Melrin, stuck in traffic. What's the password for the public Wi-Fi? I haven't tried it yet on this new phone, but I guess it hasn't changed. It's Melrin's zip code. See, they keep, okay, they keep saying, all right, we'll have to find the zip code. Makes sense, thank you, see you soon. Sam, can you call me? No, not enough credits for phone calls, everything okay? No, I got in touch with Eric. What, how? After we talked about last weekend, I checked again, the invitation was still there, so I wrote down the contact details. And? Is it what I thought? Can you call me? No minutes left until next month. But using the land line here is risky, my parents are at home. Shit, my parents too. We can talk tomorrow. I'm meeting at my meeting my friend Alice. She's got a flat rate plan, so I can use her cell. But is everything okay? Just call me tomorrow, whether you can, whenever you can. Is that the friend of yours I met once, the one who plays the harp too? No, that's Victoria. I'll call you in the afternoon. Okay. Can I call you now? I'm with Alice. Yes. Oh, we didn't hear what happened. Okay, BB. Okay, there's not a lot of messages here. Who's in your group for the science project? Um, Imad, Su, Jin, and Nina. Yours? Uh, sounds good. I'm with Hula, Huli. 
Oh yeah, that that kid, Simon and Dario. We don't know who those are. Any idea about your go what you're going to do? We're still thinking, but maybe something about ecology and the environment. Us too. Something about massive ex extinction of animals. Nice. My first thought was about bees disappearing. But then Simon came up with a brilliant idea. The other day we watched this documentary about how intensive animal farming affects global warming. And it looks like a big thing not many people talk about. How come? I don't see any connection. Well, the amount of water, for example, to produce meat or dairy products is huge. Then these animals produce a lot of greenhouse gases and the corn to feed them also needs a lot of water and chemicals plus it takes a lot of space so they cut down forest too oh wow i never thought about it that way i've already started cutting back on the amount of meat and fish i eat good for you that's going to be an awesome project you're lucky to have simon as a part of the team thank you good luck on your project happy birthday oh that's when he went missing okay we're getting closer to it all right so he said what's his face didn't he just say hi yeah, this guy. Okay. Oh, it's mom. Okay, are we getting close to the top? No, not really at all. <laughs> oh, why is mom so low on here? Does she not answer text? I've made you a chocolate cake for your book club, mom. Oh, they do the same thing. Okay, thanks, mom. You're the best. I've made apple pie for your board game club. I've got the world's best mom. I've made a lemon pie for your book club. I've prepared banana bread for your board game I've made a strawberry cake for your book club. My friends will end up fat because of you, Mom, but thanks. About the club, we're going to a book festival on the 19th. It's a bit far, and we need to eat on the train. I'd rather not eat those overpriced train sandwiches. So could you make something? I love you, Mom. Of course, I'll pack meals for your trip. I'm happy to know you're making new friends. Thanks, Mom. Is Melissa going with you, too? No, no. She doesn't really like these things. Wait, was this after? I can't remember. It was when they get got back, right? Like New Year's? I'm trying to think. Oh, pity. She's a perfect girl for you. She'll make you very happy. I'm sure, Mom. So I'm preparing packed lunches for your book festival tomorrow and a cake for your board club on Sunday. What kind of cake do you want? No cakes for now. I think it's time to stop going to the board game club. Oh, but I thought you'd like to. Less and less. Besides, they didn't. Appreciate your cakes enough. <laughs> He's making up excuses. This was after he got that secret thing came out. Mom, don't worry, but I missed the last train home. I'll stay at the book festival one more day. My friend is letting me stay. Okay, as long as you're home for your dad's birthday. Don't forget to wish your dad a happy birthday. Uncle Hugo, invite us to celebrate New Year's Eve at his place. Oh, pity, I've already made plans with Melissa. Oh, okay, this is when that was happening. I'm sure you would love... You would love to meet your girlfriend. You can invite her. She'll be back from our holidays and probably tired. It's not a good idea. As you wish, but Dad and me are definitely going. Let Hugo know if you change your mind, okay? Sure. So do I bake a cake for the book club? Oh, this was after. Or do they not like them anymore? They love your cakes, but they take a break in January. You're not bringing cakes from Melissa now. Are you? She's good, but not as good as me. <laughs> no, I'm not bringing anything from Melissa. Yeah, this was after they broke up. Oh, happy birthday to my lovely son. And there's that, too. Oh, this is this is a different teacher. Why do you have teachers in your phone? It's weird. Okay. Sam, we will be away next weekend. Could you feed Ringo again? Oh, it's not a teacher. I'm so dumb. It's just a person. They just call them that. What am I saying? I'm so dumb. Anyway, he really likes you. Thank you. <sighs> I'm doing it again. I'm yawning. Okay. Hello, Mrs. DuPont. No problem. I'll do it. I like him a lot, too. You'll find the food in the cupboard on the left and a little surprise for you. Don't tell your mom. Thank you very much, but it's really not necessary. It's my pleasure. Have a great start to your new year and lots of love from the three of us. Thank you, likewise. I wish you very happy birthday young man okay well he's been missing on his birthday to talk about university today was cool wasn't it yes it helps us understand everything a bit better and help make the big decision 
I've already decided anyway. I want to study something cool. Video games. What about you? That's great. I'm not surprised. You're always talking about video games. He didn't answer what he wanted to study. What does he want to study? Um, I have some friends who know a lot and have done cool stuff. I'm jealous now. Like what? They're called Atelier 80, not 801, yeah. And they made this cool game called Transformice. Man, they're awesome. But what about you? You didn't look very convinced in the talk. I don't know yet. I'm undecided. You're a cool mu musician. Why not compose for games? Maybe. Though you don't sound very convinced either. It's a cool industry. Think about it. I will, I promise. Happy birthday, Mr. Boring Adult. Hmm. Like, the more I read, he seems, like, less happier here. That was weird. Or maybe he just doesn't like college. Um, David. <sighs> Who's David? Oh, my cousin Tio is coming on Saturday to watch a race here. You're welcome to join us. We'll get pizza. I can't. I'm grounded the whole weekend. Too bad you can borrow some games from me if you want. Let me know. Happy birthday. I've been annoying. I missed your party. Make it a good one. Oh, it's supposed to be his party. I wonder who David is. Huh. Thomas from Board Games. Oh, yeah, this is a weird one. Hey, where have you been lately? Will you come by today? Hey, Tom. Not sure, but have fun anyway. My phone says it's your birthday today. Happy birthday and see you around. Okay, that's not really nice. Okay. Fabrina Petrova. Who is this? When is your next concert? Hey, Fabrina, I had one in June and you missed it. I know, I'm very sorry. I couldn't find a babysitter for the twins and they're still too young to stay alone. Why don't you just leave Ger Gerald to... Gerald. <laughs> Gerald to look after them and come on your own. I would have done so gladly, but um, Gerald wasn't in Melrin that evening. Then you should have come with the twins. I'd love to see them again. Well, you don't know what you're saying. They're so mischievous, but you're invited to visit any time you like, of course. I will, and maybe I even throw a private concert for the four of you. That would be awesome. Then you're invited for dinner, too. I just hope to see you before you become too famous and we have to pay to see you play. Uh, I take that as a compliment. But seriously, let me know next time, please. I will, no worries. Thank you, and send hugs to your mom and dad. Beautiful day to turn 18, huh? Have fun. Oh, Esteban, board games. Happy birthday. Okay. Chloe from board. There's a lot of people in board games. Is everything okay, Sam? Hi, Chloe. Yes, why? Just wondering, because you seemed upset the other day when you left after talking, talking to Lola. Oh, yeah. And you weren't there today. Yeah, no worries. I'll be around at some point. If you don't want to stay long, at least bring one of your mom's cakes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Half of the people go there just for the cake. It won't be the same without you there. Hey, hey, is that all you care about? The cakes? I'm joking. Well, just a bit. I was worried about you too. I don't like Lola either. Just don't talk to her then. I usually don't anyway. Okay, hope to see you soon. Thanks for asking. Have a good day. Happy 18th, Sam. Okay, well, she doesn't like Lola either. Leo Accordion. Oh, he plays the accordion. Okay. Say, I'm sorry. I know a couple. Sam from the music school or Sam from the lab? Sorry, the one from school. Okay, happy birthday. Um, Aunt Estelle? Dear Sam, Deanna, Elizabeth, Raphael, and I wish you a happy birthday. We hope you achieve all your goals in life and live happily ever after. That's funny. Tim. Non and make I don't know what that says. Okay. Why did I what did I miss today in class? Not much, but she said we'll have an exam before the end of the month. What? God damn it, we had one last week. What a bitch. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uncle Hugo. Oh. This is Hugo. Happy New Year. I hope you had a great time last night. We had some fun here with your dad and mom. Did they show you the photos? See you for your birthday, big boy. Thank you, Uncle Hugo. They're still sleeping. Glad to hear you had a good start to the new year. Happy birthday. I don't know if I can come. Always the same. Sorry. So he had a birthday party, but he probably didn't show up. Okay. Oh, this is quite a bit. Okay. So Miriam. Hmm. I'm probably butchering that name, too. Noah told me that you might be interested in video games. What? He's the one who's interested. He's a, he is obsessed, lol, but he 
told me you talked about it the other day. I wanted to ask you if you'd like to try maybe. Try what? Do you know what a game jam is? Like playing games all together? Not sure. Almost. It's an event where people get together and try to develop a game prototype in a limited time. It's mostly just fun, creative, interesting, and you often get to meet cool people and learn new things. Sound cool. Sounds cool, but I don't really know what I can do there. Music. Noah said you're a great musician. Really? Are there also people making music there? Of course. Sound and music are super important. It's like a challenge to develop something in those conditions. It's mostly for the fun, really. But if it is good, who knows what we will, what will happen afterwards. And in any case, the experience and the new friends is the most available thing you'll get from it. Anyway, you, you can make us some cool music compositions for the harp. To tell the truth, while I play the harp, I actually prefer composing for other instruments. Do what you want for other instruments. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> do what you want. So are you still coming? I don't know. Maybe I'll try. When is it? There are a bunch, but the best one is last weekend of January. Will you join us, please? But that Sunday is my birthday. Oh, I didn't know. Yes, yeah, sorry. Don't be. There'll be more. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for thinking of me. Huh. Sure, musicians are always welcome. I didn't forget your birthday. Happy birthday from the game jam. We're about to present our game. Present our game, sorry. Huh. Okay. Alright. Oh, gosh. This guy speaks in caps. Oh, this is Uncle Raymond, of course. Nice. Which one? Was it expensive? How could... How much could you get from your old dad? I hope you got. I hope he got you a very cool one. Not so expensive. I don't need a great phone anyway. Plus, Christmas is around the corner, and then my birthday. So he promised to make history with my gift. Then, don't know what he's got in mind. Ah, <laughs> he's already dropping hints. I've got a slight idea. Ho ho ho! But I won't say a word. <laughs> All I can say, it's not suitable for little girls. Ha ha. Uh oh. Happy 2016 from my, he's so funny. Hey, big boy, I got, I get to see you this and next weekend. Yeah, hi, Uncle Ray, Tio already told me. See you soon. Dumb Tio doesn't know Melvin's Wi-Fi password. You need internet. I just sent it to him. Ah, uh, thank you. We're almost there. Be a good boy and go tell your mom. You're 18. Woo, -ah. party, party, party. Let's see. See you later. Oh, I forgot. Cake, cake, cake. Oh, my goodness. He's so weird. Oh, we made it to the top. Okay, this is, like, almost perfect timing. Okay. All right. Who is this again? Sorry, I'm Sophie. Okay. Uh, oh, this was the day. Okay, are you still at the club? I think I forgot my umbrella. I left already, but Alice was staying longer. I'll ask her. She got it already. Thank you. Cool, no problem. I thought it was weird that she didn't leave at the same time as you. I thought you always went home together. You've been inseparable recently. She's my best friend. Happy birthday, Sam. I hope the cake is great and you get lots of presents. And we read Dad. Um, we don't have Alice on here, do we? Oh, that's weird. Oh, we do. Wait, this is the Alice? Well, they don't have much chat. I'd expect them to have as much as what's-her-face. Yeah, they're talking about this stuff. Oh, I didn't know this was the Alice. I'd think it would just be Alice, not Alice Board Games. This is the best, her best friend. I don't know, but we read all of that, and now we're going to know that this Wi-Fi is the password. Well, wait, what if we... Do you think we'll have enough time for the Wi-Fi? Where would that be? We have music... It's nice that they have music, though. It's just, it's extremely loud. Oh my gosh, it's all the way up, that's why. I also don't want to play it because I'm afraid it's going to be copyright, but I'm sure it has, there's beautiful music, I'm sure. Um, we have a nice calculator. That's nice. Um, browser, do we have another page? No. Um, email, settings, weather, gallery, message, calendar. Oh, we can look at the calendar. Book club. Is book club like every Wednesday? Oh, we probably didn't go that day. Wait, is book club here too? Oh no, this is board games. Sorry, board games is every Saturday. Book festival, movie. Dad's birthday. Melissa's plane departure. 
party with Melissa. My 18th birthday. What's this? Museum trip. Dentist. Charlotte's arrival. Departure. Movie with Alice and call to you. Oh, well, this doesn't really have too much, but I mean, at least we went through that. The weather. What's the weather? Oh, no internet connection. Where are we going to find that? Network. Yeah, we find this here. Language. Oh, we can pick it. That's cool. Sound and erase all data. Okay. Um, hmm. Is there stuff in the browser? Oh, no, we can't open it. Um, the gallery is going to be pictures. We can go through that next time, though, because um, we've hit an hour already. There's so many other things to do, though. I'm so excited. I definitely want to look at this because this is definitely probably like lovebirds. It's probably going to reveal a lot. I feel like that's like a Tinder thing. It's definitely going to have a lot of stuff. Um, we went through all the messages. We went through a bit of the calendar. We're going to go through the, probably the email. I definitely want to go through the gallery. And Lovebirds, maybe the email might have the um, the zip code. Because I, I wouldn't know what that is. It doesn't have it anywhere else, I don't think. And we can't really get anywhere without the internet. So we're probably going to find that next episode. I know we didn't really do much except read all this. But we got a good understanding of like all these people. There's a lot of people in that board games thing there's a lot of people in there um but yeah now we got a little bit of an understanding for this game and my my headset just like shut off again i'm sorry about that anyway <laughs> um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's really long and it's a bit different from what i usually do um if you watched this whole thing i really do appreciate it it doesn't mean a lot thank you thank you thank you if you like this video please leave a like if you want to see more content like this please subscribe and comment down below any other ideas you have for games um that you'd like me to play and i will most definitely play them um thank you again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye <laughs>